I've played Pokemon Go nearly every day for the past seven years. I've traveled all over the world, attended nearly every major event, and have grown an amazing collection of Pokemon. And today we take a look at what I believe to be my top 100 rarest Pokemon in my entire Pokemon Go account. Starting with this Bulbasaur. Round of applause. Okay, it's cooler than you think. This is a costume Bulbasaur that is 100% IVs. Any hundo costume is super cool, but not as cool as what you're about to see because this is what's called a clone Venusaur. These were released back in 2020 as part of like a promotional Pokemon Go movie event thingy. And well, they never came back. We had no idea that these would be some of the rarest Pokemon in the entire game. Most people transferred them because they technically weren't really meta relevant, including myself. I actually only have like, I think one left and it's not great IVs. But I caught it myself, I got Vine Whip and Frenzy Plant on it. Technically makes this meta relevant. The only problem is you cannot Mega Evolve clone Pokemon. So, that kind of sucks. We'll show it some love though. We'll get it up to level 40. There we go, some respect on him. Next we have a shiny Charmander with a Cubone hat. This came out during Halloween of 2019, and I was lucky enough to find one I don't know if we'll ever see this guy again, but he's so freaking cute. Obviously, Shadow Shiny Pokemon are some of the rarest in the entire game, so getting one as cool as a Shadow Shiny Charizard is a really big accomplishment. And the IVs, although they're not great, this is still easily one of the coolest Pokemon in my entire collection. I love this. And what could be more rare than a Shadow Shiny Charizard? This, cloned. Charizard. Clone Charizard came out at the same time as Clone Venusaur, and it's 2020, year 2020. I got 14, 14, 14 on the IVs, which kind of sucks, but it's still so cool. 29, 17, I would level 50 it, but again, you cannot mega evolve these, and that's kind of what makes Charizard so meta relevant, but it looks so cool. And here's a 360 of the Clone Charizard with that really, really cool design on it. Oh, I didn't really do that. Here's a 360 of Clone Venusaur, by the way. This is kind of like what the clone looks like. Next up, we got my boy Shadow Shiny Squirtle. Again, any Shadow Shiny is a sick one. This is from 2022. IV is definitely actually really good. If I were to purify this, I wouldn't go to a Shundo. It'd be, it'd be like a Shiny 96, wouldn't be worth it. Next, we've got a really cool Shiny Squirtle. This is a Shiny Galarian Yamask Hat Squirtle from Halloween 2020. He's got like a little bow tie. A little some uh, candy in the hat. And we've got another one, a clone Blastoise this time. He doesn't look super different in the front of his face, except for his face. But if you look at the back of his shell, it's a really, really cool, unique design on the back of the shell. And again, this is a Pokemon that came out once, never really came out again, and has become one of the rarest in the whole game. Also, just a heads up, we're gonna have over 100 Pokemon because I couldn't thin it down to 100. It should be like 106, so. <laughs> so Raticate, not a rare Pokemon. Party Hat Raticate, pretty cool. The thing that's cool about this, it's a 100% IV Pokemon that was only available in the three-star raids. So this was really, really hard to get. This was during 2020, during COVID, so it was hard to get out and do raids and play, but we got lucky. I guess remote raids were a thing then. Another Shadow Shiny here, Shadow Shiny Arbok. This is a really, really cool one just because I love the way the gold and the purple of it kind of like mix the colors, like the shadow plus the actual shiny color of the Arbok. And this was one of my earlier Shadow Shiny catches. Super duper cool. Right here is the first ever costume Pokemon that was ever released in Pokemon Go. This is a 2016 December holiday Pikachu with the OG Santa Claus hat. And as you can see, this is not traded. Caught it myself on December 12th, 2016, first year of the game. 11 CP2, which is so cool. And a nice little piece of Pokemon history. Oh, and get ready. We're about to see a lot of Pikachu. It's not my fault. It's always some sort of like exclusive variant. This is a 2021 shiny Meloetta hat Pikachu. Probably will never come back. Got this during Go Fest, which was all about Meloetta. Here is probably my favorite Pikachu in my account, the Halloween. It's the Mimikyu costume. Uh, 2019 Halloween Pikachu shiny. I got so lucky catching this. I couldn't believe I got it. I got it in, like a parking lot. And to this day, this is probably my favorite costume Pikachu ever. Now we've got, look at this, a clone Pikachu. Yes, there was clone Pikachu that did come out with the other clone Pokemon. And the only way that you can tell this Pikachu apart from others, because if you look at these guys, I mean, they're kind of pretty much the same thing, is the tips of the ears. The tips of the ears have that kind of like spiky design coming down it. That is a clone Pikachu where any other tip on any other ear of a Pikachu, it's just kind of that normal, smooth black. This one's very cool. It's a 2022 Singapore t-shirt shiny Pikachu. You could only catch this in Singapore at the Safari Zone, uh, and it's a really, really exclusive like location variant. Another exclusive location variant, I got this Pikachu. I actually got this traded to me when I was in South Korea by somebody who went to the Taipei City Taiwan event, ended up getting the exclusive balloon Pikachu that spawned there, the shiny, and trading me 
for one of my Jeju Island shiny Pikachu. So the only way to get this one was by attending the Taipei event. Only people in Taipei got it. We got one. And here's this one. Again, this was actually the one that I caught in Singapore. So only way to get this one was by catching this shiny during the Singapore event. And then right here, we have kind of a cool collection. It's the entire crown collection from GoFest 2023. We've got the green crown, the blue crown, the pink crown, and the gold crown. And that's all of the crown Pikachu, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and we, we got lucky and got all of them. Right here is actually, I want to say, yes, this was ca caught in um, uh, Jeju Island, South Korea, which was an awesome video, an amazing adventure. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen it. Probably one of my favorite videos I've filmed on this channel, uh, at least in the last couple of years. So, so fun. And we got really, really lucky and caught this. It's a small island off the coast of South Korea. The only place to catch this shiny Pokemon. All right, we're leaving the Eevees into different Pokemon, including right here, which is a costume shiny Nine Tails. I know this costume technically came back this year in 2023, but I caught it when it, I think, first came out in 2022 in Disneyland. It was a really fun adventure and definitely is one of the most beautiful and one of the rarest shiny costumes in my account. Now we've got another Shadow Shiny, a Shadow Shiny Venomoth. I was just lucky enough to complete the Shadow Shiny family here. Was really, really grinding the team leaders for a while. And I love his, like, big red buggy eyes. Also got a Shadow Shiny Growlithe. Beautiful. Gold in the purple. Shadow Shiny Poliwag. Shadow Shiny Machamp, which actually is really useful technically and I don't know why I've, I've never powered this up. I got dynamic punch on it. Let's let's bring this to level 40. Shadow Shiny Victory Bell which I caught actually recently. This just came out as a part of an event a couple of weeks ago so already got this guy. Right here is one of the rarest Pokemon in my account. Easy. This is a Pokemon that I caught myself. Again caught wasn't traded wasn't caught from a raid because raids didn't exist. Wasn't caught from field research because those didn't exist. This was caught in the wild on September 23rd 2016 the first year the game came out and it is a wild caught 100% IV Pokemon. And the reason why this is so rare is because back in 2016, there was no way to check your IVs on Pokemon. It actually took a long time for an IV checking method to efficiently come out in Pokemon Go. It took years, I think. So if you have any 100% IV Pokemon from 2016, that means that you got lucky enough to find and catch one, and then also got lucky enough to not unintentionally transfer it. Most people probably transferred most of their Hundos from year one, but I got lucky and kept one. And what's more rare than a Hundo? It's a Nundo. A 0% IV Pokemon is statistically more rare, harder to get, than a 100% in Pokemon Go, and I have a pretty cool collection of them. We'll see a couple more throughout the video, but right here is an Alolan Geodude. This is another Meloetta hat shiny. Again, we'll probably never see this uh, hat variant again. And it's the Galarian Ponyta, got during GoFest. Beautiful. This is my favorite Gengar costume that has ever been released. Right here, it's a beautiful 100% IV. Dude, I got the Hundo. Didn't get the shiny, but I got the Hundo. 100% IV Halloween 2020 Gengar with this really, really cool design. I do have enough XLs to get to level 50. I'm not doing that this video. We'll do a different video for that. I already spent like a mil dust. But I've already Mega Evolved this. It's like max level Mega as well. So it is just completely OP. This is a super useful Pokemon in my account and it's so sick. Here, I think we have another 0%. Yeah, this was a, oh cool. 0% IV Electabuzz caught this year in Seoul, South Korea. Now we've got Pokemon Go history with the first ever shiny Pokemon ever released. It was Magikarp, which I obviously evolved over to Gyarados. And the cool thing about this is that Shiny Magikarp was released for the first time ever in March of 2017, and I caught it in Disneyland. So obviously super cool. I've level 50 this. It's a max level mega. It's got two moves. I mean, this is one of my favorite Pokemon in my entire account. Here's another Shadow Shiny, Shadow Shiny Lapras. I think I put my entire Shadow Shiny collection inside of this video just because they're so rare. Here's a really cool one and a very special one. My friend, the homie Ivy League 10, which has been a community member and a part of the Team Mystic fam for freaking years. We met up this year during GoFest New York City, if I'm not confused. And this Lapras was a part of a special research storyline event where every single person was able to get one single encounter with Lapras during like a one week period from special research. So getting the shiny was pretty much impossible. And Ivy League got the shiny with their one single encounter and was nice enough to trade it to me. This is near and dear to my heart. I think this was also during the Team Mystic challenge as well. So me as Team Mystic, this is even more special. And just a ridiculously rare shiny Pokemon that you do not see ever. Here we've got a, is this a Hundo? Hundo Ditto. It's just, this thing's hard to get, even harder to get Hundo, kind of cool. Here we've got a 2019 Eevee. Now the cool thing about this is, I mean, the IVs are bad, the CP is bad. Why did I put this in the video? Well, if you scroll down, this was actually traded to me from Brandon Tan, the number one player in the entire world, and it was caught in China. And if you don't know, Pokemon Go is pretty much disabled across most of China. So to have that Chinese location tag and the Brandon Tan trade tag, it's a pretty sick Pokemon. 
Here we've got another Eevee. This is actually the Explorer Eevee that I caught during the uh, Soul City Safari event, which was the first ever City Safari event. And as you can see, the Eevee has that kind of like cool uh, catch background of Seoul, South Korea, which is very cool. The only way to get this Eevee is by attending a City Safari event somewhere in the world and completing the special research storyline that gives you nine encounters, I think, per day with this Eevee. I didn't get the shiny, but the shiny exists. I don't have it. Here we've got... Uh, Blue Balls, the Vaporeon. Uh, this is actually the oldest Pokemon in my account. I got this thing July 16th of 2016, which is 10 days after Pokemon Go released. So, oldest Pokemon that I got. I caught it myself. Uh, Freaking the homie, the OG. Vaporeon's my favorite. Another Shadow Shiny, we got Amistar from 2020. Really, really cool one. Love this guy. Also a great Shadow Shiny, Aerodactyl here from 2021. Here's a cooler Aerodactyl. This is the Satchel Dactyl. It's got the Satchel costume around the side of it, and this was caught during... Go Fest Osaka. Um, I don't actually remember if this spawned during all of the Go Fest events in this year, 2023. I think it did, but it's definitely a Pokemon that like a lot of people ask for in trades. So for sure rare, definitely kind of cool, real subtle. Here we've got a very new one. This is probably the my most recent super rare shiny Pokemon or super rare Pokemon in general that I caught. It is a Shadow Shiny Dragonite, which just came out and is right now, as I'm saying this, currently available in the team leader encounters uh, with Cliff. So I've got a bunch of rocket radars. I battle them every time I find them and I'm really trying to get more Shadow Shiny Dragonite because Dragonite's one of my favorite Pokemon ever and the Shadow Shiny is just so cool. Unfortunately, the IVs are absolute dog water, but I already did level 40 this and I took frustration off of it because this is just such a cool Pokemon. Here we've got one of the, probably the best most OP meta relevant Pokemon in my entire account. This is a Shadow Mewtwo that I caught during the 2020 Pokemon Go Fest event where Shadow Mewtwo originally debuted. And the really big thing about this one is that during the Go Fest events, the IVs were actually boosted. So when you go out and do a Shadow Raid, you could get a high IV Shadow Mewtwo, but you're probably not going to. Well, everyone got a high IV Shadow Mewtwo who did this Go Fest event, including myself. And I got this, a really, really good IV Mewtwo. Now, the reason why I have not purified this to get the Hundo is because Shadow Pokemon are significantly stronger than purified Pokemon. So this is easily the best Pokemon in my account in terms of damage, just because of how high the IVs are and the fact that it's a Shadow. Then also, obviously, Best Buddy did, level 50 did, which took a long time. It's a freaking monster. And next is honestly an even cooler Mewtwo in my personal opinion. This is the first ever Mewtwo released in Pokemon Go. And as you can see, I caught this in Japan on August 14th, 2017. I was actually in Yokohama, Japan, in the stadium there with a bunch of other YouTubers. It was super duper cool. And it was the first ever release of the most iconic Pokemon. Well, I guess Charizard is. The most, most iconic legendary Pokemon in the Pokemon franchise, Mewtwo. I have this Mewtwo here to remember that by the IVs are so-so, but it's still so cool and a very, very cool part of Pokemon history. Next we've got, this is easily one of the rarest Pokemon in the entire game, like with the clone Pokemon. This thing that you're looking at right now only came out like once, I think twice, uh, in Pokemon Go history, and because it's not meta relevant compared to the normal Mewtwo, most people transferred it. Uh, and people weren't really raiding as much back then because there weren't remote raids. This is an armored Mewtwo. I caught this in 2019 in here in California. I caught a bunch of these. I transferred most of them. I still have a couple left in my account, but who knows when this Pokemon will ever come back, if it will ever come back. It is an absolutely insane looking design. I don't even know what's going on here, but it definitely is uh, like one of the biggest head turner Pokemon. Most people will see this and think like, what is that? I've never seen that before. So it, it is definitely like a cool thing to have, but. It's not useful, it's kind of random, <laughs> but still one of the rarest in my account. Here we've got one of my prize processions. Sudowoodo is my favorite Pokemon ever, and this is a 100% IV Sudowoodo I got in 2020. I named it Pliss No Fleece because in my interview with Fleece King, one of the best top players in the world, he transferred his one and only 100% IV Sudowoodo mid-interview. Next, we've got my shiny unknown collection. I'm just gonna kind of brush through them. We got A, B, D, E, F, G, Oh, check this out. Easily one of the rarest in my account. It's a 0% IV unknown. That's ridiculous. And I caught this uh, in Taipei. Oh, no, I'm sorry, in Chai, Taiwan, during the event that I attended in 2018. This is so cool. Other shiny unknown, we got I, L, M, uh, N, O, P, S, T, U. Or this is W. This might be W. I think this is 100% IV. Got 100% IV unknown as well. That's cool. And then right here is my rarest shiny unknown. This is exclamation point shiny unknown. It was only released like 
once, I think, maybe twice ever in Pokemon Go history, the non-shiny version. So the shiny version came out in, like, incense spawns only during GoFest 2023, and I was extremely lucky enough in New York City to catch one off of my incense, I think, on the start of one of my days. So, got this during GoFest, and this remains one of the rarest Pokemon in the entire game, and definitely one of the rarest shinies, and I got one. Here, I think this is pretty cool. This is a 100% of a Heracross, which is a pretty meta-relevant Pokemon, and it's a regional, so 100% of a regional is not easy to come by. This is another Hundo. We've got a 100% IV costume uh, Sneasel. Kind of like with regionals, costume Pokemon are just not easy to come by, and they usually only come out once or twice a year and sometimes never come back. So getting 100% costume, always cool. Another Shadow Shiny, we got Ursaring, freaking big beastie boy, very cool. Another 100% regional, we got a Hundo Corsola. It's one of my favorite regional Pokemon ever. I just love the vibe of it. And we also obviously got the Shiny too, which took me kind of a long time and I raided like a billion raids for this thing. And then I think I eventually caught it uh, in Singapore uh, during the Safari Zone. Uh, in the wild. So, <laughs> really cool though. This is another one of my 0% of the Pokemon. I got a 0% Remoraid. This might be my first ever Shadow Shiny, actually. I think this is. This is a 2019 Shadow Shiny Stantler, which was released during the 2019 holiday event in December. So, this is definitely like history for me. I was lucky enough to get a Shiny Smeargle. I got this uh, in, in LA. I don't exactly remember when I got this. Oh, there was like a, a Smeargle event. That sh you can always get Smeargle in Pokemon Go by taking snapshots, but the shiny is only like available to get every once in a while. They like turn it off. So kind of annoying, but got one. This is probably my favorite Shadow Shiny. Honestly, it's a Shadow Shiny Tyranitar. As you can see, I've already double moved it. I level 50 it. I took frustration off. The IVs on it are terrible, but doesn't matter because it's a Shadow, Sh Shadow Shiny Tyranitar. One of the most meta relevant Pokemon in the game and just a freaking cool one. I love Tyranitar, this is huge. Got another piece of Pokemon history here. This is the first ever shiny legendary Pokemon released in Pokemon Go. Shiny Lugia was released obviously in March of 2018, and I was in Hawaii when I caught this, and it was a crazy memory. Right here is an even deeper part of Pokemon history. In 2017, the first ever Pokemon Go Fest event happened, but it was a complete failure. So as a way of apologizing, Niantic gave everybody who attended the event one free Lugia, which was released for the first time during this event as well. So this is like the first ever legendary and it was a gifted legendary technically by Niantic by the Pokemon company and a really cool thing, when you search costume, it actually shows up as a costume Pokemon right here. I don't exactly know why it is technically considered a costume Pokemon, but it's not a normal regular Lugia. It is a costume. It's kind of a cool like Easter egg in Pokemon Go. Um, and definitely a really cool thing to have because you had to have gone to GoFest 2017 to get this. Now we've got a shiny Celebi. This is something that you kind of like had to be there for sort of thing. There was an event that came out in 2020 uh, that gave everybody the ability to catch a shiny Celebi through research in December. Uh, and I was able to obviously play that, complete that, get that, and then best buddy it. And then I didn't power it up or give it another move because it's not useful, but it's definitely a really cool like exclusive shiny mythical. Right here, we've got 100% of each Spinda. It's rare, it's hard to find. You can only get it in field research and it's only been in raids like once, I think. I don't know what I got this from. This was from field research, so super rare to get. And then I also have the shiny Spinda as well, uh, but I only have one, I, they're so hard to find. Right here is the shiny rainy cast form. I did not catch this in the rain. I caught this during the Hoenn tour uh, in Las Vegas, but shiny rainy cast form is easily one of the rarest shiny variants to get. They do not spawn ever. They're really hard to find even when it's raining. And then obviously getting the shiny, is just that much more difficult. So this is a really cool one. And this is an even cooler one. I live in California. It doesn't rain here. It doesn't snow here unless you go like up into the mountains. So I never get snowy cast from spawn. Um, and I got this one actually at GoFest Osaka this year. It wasn't snowing. It was just one of the exclusive spawns, but I did get the shiny. So that's super cool. Shiny snowy cast form. Here is another one of my favorite shadow shinies, if not like contending for my favorite. It is a Shadow Shiny Salamence that I already level 50. Again, IVs aren't great, but it's just such a cool Pokemon. It's very meta relevant. Um, I didn't give it a second move. We'll do all this stuff later. I'm not gonna, <laughs> no more Stardust this video, but it is really, really cool. It's really re relevant. Level 50, definitely a beast. Here is arguably my rarest Pokemon. This is a Shadow 100% IV Metagross. I caught this during a trip to Disneyland and I will never forget it. Oh God, look, I can power it up more. Okay, but I can't level 50 yet, so it's fine. Still working this thing, oh, still working this thing to level 50, but this is actually my only Shadow 100% AV Pokemon I have ever caught. This is a really, 
really cool thing. And actually in the same day, I was able to get the Shadow Shiny Metagross too. So I have the Shadow Hundo and the Shadow Shiny and that's really useful because this is actually one of the most meta relevant Pokemon in the game. It's the best Steel type attacker, even better than the Mega Steel type attackers. So it's really cool to have, again, both as a Shadow Hundo and a Shadow Shiny easily some of the rarest stuff. Here is actually the first Shundo of the video. We've got a Shundo Kyogre, which was not my first ever Shundo, but it is a freaking beast. Obviously Shundos are rare, you know, that's sick. It's a max level primal, so I have that on this as well. Here we've got 100% of e Rayquaza. They're just so hard to find um, and so hard to get. I did raid for this and I got it out of a raid, so I was really, really excited about this. Actually, funny enough, did not teach it Dragon Ascent and I have not prime or mega evolved this, but I probably should, but super cool. Here's the first ever, the world's first shiny Rayquaza. I caught this in Japan and it's named Godzilla because we were at like a skyscraper building and there was like a Godzilla at the top of the building at where the gym was, it was like perfect. Um, and yes, caught here in Tokyo, Japan with the whole squad, super duper cool. Here's a shiny Jirachi, this was kind of same, same deal. I think uh, this, when did I catch this? This was Santa Monica. This was just caught during a special research event that came out that was a limited time thing. So if you're watching now and you don't have a shiny Jirachi, you can't get it. Uh, unless it comes back during a future event. So just a really cool thing. Of course, I've got the king, the one and only shiny Bidoof. This is the Lord of Pokemon, the rarest Pokemon on my account, hands down. I will never evolve him. He's perfect the way he is. Beautiful. Shiny Mime Jr. is just one of the hardest to get shiny baby Pokemon because the only way you can hatch this is by getting five kilometer eggs in Europe and hoping you get a shiny Mime Jr. from it. Luckily, there was an event that happened where Mime Jr. came to seven kilometer eggs for like a week, a couple days, and I hatched a bunch of them, and I did hatch a shiny Mime Jr. out of the seven kilometer eggs. So I am so happy that I've got this. Here's Shiny Spear Tomb, which I, I figured would get less rare with time. It's only gotten more rare because every Halloween, it technically comes back but it's been harder and harder to get every single Halloween since 2020. This is the only time, the year 2020, where Shiny Spear Tomb was in field research and was available to hunt. Luckily, I hunted a ton. I got the Shiny Spear Tomb. It was a really good IV. I got best buddies, and this is absolutely one of my favorite shinies. Now we've got a really cool one. This is a Shiny Mantai catch this year out of a two kilometer egg in actually Jeju Island, South Korea. There were boosted, I think boosted hatch rates and boosted shiny rates during the Jeju Island event. Uh, and I got the Mantike shiny. It was a really, really, really big hunt during that weekend. Um, and I was lucky enough to grab it. This is a very hard shiny to get. Here is, I. this is my first ever Shundo. This is a Shundo Heatran. I got this on a live stream. It was amazing. It was an, a freaking moment. For some reason, I have not level 50 this either. I still need to XL candies. I still need, to, oh my God, 114. I'll, get, I'll do that one day. I'll, when it comes back to raids in the future, because they always keep recycling legendaries, we'll get enough. But this is such a cool thing. And even cooler, the literal raid after I got this Shundo, it was a one in one million chance of this happening. I caught a 100% IV Heatran. Back to back Hundos, one being a Shundo, one being a Hundo. One in one million chance. I could not believe that this happened. Unfortunately, Heatran isn't super meta relevant, but obviously I powered these things up because they're just so cool. So they come in like a little pair, but I, that was probably my rarest moment. Next Shundo, we have a Shundo Darkrai that I got during uh, the Berlin, Germany trip last year for GoFest. And this was extra, extra special because since this is a mythical Pokemon, you cannot trade for it. The easiest way to get a Shundo legendary is not by raiding, it's by lucky trading it with a friend. So getting a non-tradable Shundo is like significantly more rare. So this was, I could not believe this happened. This was nuts. And I think I actually have three other 100% IV Darkrai that I ended up taking out of this video because they weren't rare enough. Um, but those are super hard to get. So I got a bunch of them and I got one Shundo in Berlin and it was one of the big moments. Now we've got a Shiny Pants here. Uh, nothing super special about this other than the fact that it's just really hard to find. They don't really spawn that often and this is like kind of a regional. Um, so I got the Shiny Pants here, got the Shiny Pan Pour as well during GoFest 2022 and I didn't get the Pan Sage unfortunately because I didn't think it could be shiny during the event where it was shiny and I didn't click on it. I'm an idiot. Okay, we've got a Blitzel with a costume with a collar but it's not just any Blitzel. This is a 100% IV costume Pokemon. One of my favorite, if not my favorite Nundos, I've got a 0% IV Rog and Rolla. I, I kind of want to evolve it to a Gigalith because I think it would be cool as a Gigalith, but we'll keep him as is. Because right here we have a Gigalith and it's a freaking Schlundo. This is a shiny, lucky 100%, a Schlundo. Uh, I got this from a lucky trade. 
it was amazing. I think this was also during GoFest in 2021, and this is easily one of my favorite Pokemon in my account. Here is Shiny Skidoo, which is only available to catch at City Safari events around the world. I got this one in Seoul, South Korea. I got it out of a seven kilometer egg, which was super duper cool. IVs are okay on it. But again, the only way to get the shiny is if you attend a city safari event and get lucky enough to catch one. Here's probably the coolest Nunda that I have other than the unknown. It's a 0% IV level one Noivern. Caught this in Disneyland. This was very exciting. Here's a really cool Pokemon. I actually, I don't remember if this is a regional or not. It looks like it would be a regional to me, but either way, it's a 100% IV. I got this in uh, the Seville Safari Zone. Oh wait, Seville, but I hatched it from a two kilometer egg in Hayward. I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't know why it came from a two kilometer egg. I don't know, uh, but it's 100% of E and it's got a big beak. So this is one of the bonus Pokemon that made it in the video that passes 100. <laughs> and here we go, one of my more recent Shundos. This is the Shundo Tapu Coco, which I also did level 50. Uh, didn't teach it another attack because it's just not meta relevant, but it is really cool. It's a Shunda legendary, love to see it. Here's a shiny you probably don't see that often, shiny uh, Renergus. Galarian Mask shiny, you just evolve it. So it's not the most rare thing ever, but it's definitely something that, again, you just don't really see all that often. And I got this out of a seven kilometer egg and then evolved it. It looks crazy when you tap on it. Look how cool it is, eh? Look, it's got like the snake design. That's so sick. And if I had to pick a favorite out of all of my rare Pokemon, it would be my boy, my son, my 100% IV Sudowoodo. And those are the top 100 plus a couple rarest Pokemon in my account. Let me know in the comments what your rarest Pokemon is, and I'll see you in the next video.